What's up? Matt here from Archfab. Uh, today I'm doing a video on welding thick material to thin material. Uh, so this is basically something that you're going to come up against uh, working on a car, doing any sort of fabrication work to a car. So for me it's mainly like roll cage feet. Um, you've got your this is one mil, which is going to be like what your floor pans and all your panels are made, well, sometimes thinner than that, but that's one mil. And then three mil is what I have to make my uh, foot plates out of. So that's normally what I'm doing is welding three mil to one mil, and then I've got a bit of four mil as well. We'll weld that to it, but it's good, good to know how to do it um, for anything really, like exhaust bracket or anything like that because the, the, the problem you're going to have is um, you need to use settings that would be hot enough for the thicker material without uh, just blowing holes straight through your floor or whatever it is. Um, I've just got a little technique that I use that just um, makes it a bit easier so uh, I'm going to show you that now. So say I was trying to weld that straight onto there and um, I was using some really hot settings to obviously uh, burn into this properly. If you were to weld that how you would weld, normally if you were welding like two pieces of that together you'd be aiming the uh, wire and the puddle sort of right down into the um, the root of that join right in the bottom corner there where the pen is, that's where you'd be aiming your, your wire, you'd want to be driving right into that corner. But if you do that on this, obviously because that's so thin, you're just going to blow a hole out of there. So what I do is I aim the wire up onto the top edge of this um, thicker material. Uh, up onto the top edge of this thicker material and then just to let the puddles sort of like flow down until it just catches the into the uh, one mil and then I drag it straight back up onto the top corner and then let it come back down, drag it up, come back down. So you're directing all the heat into like the top edge of that as, a, as opposed to into the bottom and as soon as the puddle um, reaches the material at the bottom you're just dragging it back up. So, Right, so um I'm doing a real exaggerated version. So that was uh, that's our piece of four mil, three mil, and this is our piece of one mil. You're like aiming the puddle right at the top edge of this, and then sort of as it as the puddle um, flows down, as soon as it as soon as it uh, reaches the one mil, you drag back across and start back up on the four mil or whatever it is. Let the puddle like, let the puddle just roll onto that and as soon as it's on it, drag it back off again. Um, and then just sort of keep doing that all the way along. So you're, you're really limiting how much heat is going into the thinner material and um, focusing all the heat into the, the piece on top. That's like, obviously, a, a, makes it look more complicated than, than it is. It's, it's a really subtle just sort of like zigzag drag like that. It, if you normally weld and did sort of a like the way I normally do it is just a little sort of drag, pause, drag, pause, drag, pause um, but you're just moving it up back onto the four mil and then allowing it to come down then back up, allowing it to come down, back up. That's it basically. That's it. Right, so um, I'm going to weld this on the here now and I'm going to do it just how I said not to do it. I'm going to aim the um, aim the puddle right into the bottom corner here. I'm going to aim the puddle right into the bottom corner and um, you'll probably find that you'll get a little bit of the way and then as it heats up you'll just burn a big hole through. And the other thing is if you're doing if you're doing uh, anything, anything on cars, really, where you're working on the floors, 
if on the underside is uh, under seal or seam sealer or anything like that, the minute the puddle drags onto here, it's just going to drag all that crap from underneath up into the top and it's just going to make a mess. So clean the, clean the back edge as well as the top uh, when you're doing anything with floors or anything at all really. That, uh, you, there's a risk of burning through. Um, so yeah, let's give that a blast. Alright, one thing that's important when you're doing this is because um, the thinner material always gets really hot, it'll actually warp and pull away from the piece you're trying to weld to the top of it. So as soon as you get a gap between your uh, top bit of material and your floor or whatever it is, that's when you're going to really run the risk of blowing a hole. So. The more tacks you can get on there, you know, just get loads of tacks and then just grind them off or whatever. But uh, you just want to make sure that that gap can't open up. You want to make sure the gap can't open up. I mean, there's a little bit of a gap there, but it should be all right. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do one now across here, and I'm going to aim the um, aim the wire right into the crack of the join down there, like I would. Uh, you know, welding two pieces of that together. Right, so you can see that just blew straight through. I've probably got it set quite hot um, for this, but I'm going to leave the settings like that and then do a do the other side how I said to do it. Alright, so you can see a difference, I've managed to get all the way across there without blowing any holes through it and if you look close you can see where it's really taken all the top edge off where I've been pulling it back up to that top edge and uh, it's, re it's not really much, um, you know, it's really tiny amount of difference that you're making like that drawing I did over exaggerated it massively it's literally you're literally just just dragging it back up onto the top edge of that each time you move forward just pulling it up a little bit as you move forward um, another way of doing it if you're worried about uh, putting too much heat into it or something like that is is to do um, just sort of tack on top of tack like pulse they call it where you just sort of pulse with the switch continuously across it and um, that's another way you can do it obviously again you've got to have it set hot enough to be actually burning into your thicker material personally like that method of welding I think should only be used for uh, sheet metal body repairs you know anywhere where you can't run a continuous weld then um, use it, but using that for anything thicker than um, welding onto sheet is, in my opinion, like <clears throat> not right. Uh, but we'll do one of them anyway. We'll do uh, we'll do a pulse across there. You might have to do that if you if you're 
some floor pans are like 0.8 mil thick, so you might you, you just might not be able to get away with running a continuous weld, and you might have to do that. So let's do a bit of that. I'm hanging it over the edge just to uh, yeah, because that's how it would be in a car. If I had that sat on top of that, you obviously it'd be less likely to burn through anyway. So if you could get something underneath for what you're trying to weld on your car to, as like a heat sink sort of thing then um, obviously that would work but that's not really going to happen in most cases Um, so, uh, let's have another go at burning a hole. I'm going to try and go a bit faster. I'll see if I can pick up the travel speed, see how far I can get aiming right down in that bottom corner. I thought I'd get a bit further than that. I thought I'd um, just get the travel speed going a bit quicker. And um, but yeah, you can see like it, it's a it's a really small difference in terms of like when you're actually doing the weld. It makes a really big difference to actually being able to to do it like weld that properly to that. Stick a bit of four mil on now. Turn the machine up a bit and um, do it again. So yeah, that managed to uh, weld a bit of 4 mil. You can see it's definitely hot enough for the 4 mil, and I haven't even, haven't even blown a hole in the 1 mil. So you can see how it works. That's all I got for this one. Um, hopefully, us of some good to someone. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Cheers.